The United States, Germany, and other Western allies are about to send heavy tanks to Ukraine, joining Britain in a move that might be pivotal in Kyiv's military effort. Washington is anticipated to send 30 M1 Abrams tanks to Ukraine, while Berlin will initially offer at least 15 Leopard 2 tanks and enable other NATO nations, including Poland, Finland, and Denmark, to deploy their tanks. The United Kingdom was the first NATO member to announce that it will send 14 Challenger 2 main battle tanks to Ukraine, and on Sunday, French President Emmanuel Macron said he has requested his military minister to think about deploying some French Leclerc main battle tanks to Ukraine. Ukraine is struggling to gain an edge following military victories since it uses the same Soviet-era T-72 tanks as Russia, which means that receiving Western tanks after 11 months of conflict might be a game-changer for Kyiv. For months, Kyiv has argued that Western tanks should provide Ukrainian soldiers with the firepower and mobility they need to breach Russian lines and reclaim the land. Mail Online examines how Western tanks compare to Russian tanks and what this means for Ukraine's military effort. The German Leopard 2 tank, weighing 55 tons, combines firepower, armor, speed, and mobility, making it suitable for a wide range of combat conditions. Krasmasse Wegman, the tank's maker, describes it as the world's premier main combat tank, featuring a 120mm smoothbore cannon and a completely computerized fire control system. The 500,000 pounds tank has a crew of four, a range of 342 miles, and peak speeds of roughly 45 miles per hour. The initial version, now with four major variations, entered service in 1979. Rolf Raths, director of the Panzer Museum in Munster, Germany, believes that experienced Ukrainian tank operators will be able to learn to utilize the Leopard 2 rather fast and that training will be simplified to focus on important skills. Western sales of Leopard 2s might help Ukraine replace its own declining Soviet-era stockpiles, offering a new path for Western weaponry exports to reach Ukraine, according to Johan Michael, a research analyst at the International Institute for Strategic Studies. The U.S. is set to send an M1 A2 Abrams tank to Ukraine in the next weeks to help in the combat effort. The 5 million pounds tank is equipped with a 120 mm smoothbore cannon that is manually loaded by one of the four crew members and has an effective shooting range of more than 4 kilometers. The 26 foot long tank also includes a target finding system capable of killing fighters, as well as two 7.62 mm machine guns and another 12.7 mm machine gun. The tank is very adequately defended against all known anti-tank weaponry, thanks to Chobham composite armor consisting of steel and uranium. The 71-ton Abrams tank, which was first manufactured in 1990, has a range of 420 kilometers and a peak speed of roughly 68 kilometers per hour. It also features tracks that allow it to perform effectively as it travels around the country. However, because of its high fuel consumption and extensive maintenance needs, the tank, which is fueled by jet fuel, is deemed less suited than the German Leopard 2 and British Challenger 2 tanks. The Pentagon senior policy advisor, Colin Call, stated this week that the Abrams tank is a highly sophisticated piece of technology. He also stated that it is costly and difficult to train. Britain declared that 14 Challenger 2 tanks will be sent to Ukraine in the next weeks and trained Ukrainian forces to utilize them. The Challenger 2, worth 5 million pounds, is a main combat tank with a 120 mm rifled cannon and a 7.62 mm machine gun meant to assault opposing tanks. According to the British Army, it is the UK's only guaranteed 24-hour, all-weather mobile tank with protected precision direct fire and anti-tank agility. During the Gulf War, a previous variant of the tank claimed the longest tank kill in history, annihilating an Iraqi tank three miles distant. British military leaders have hailed the 75-ton Challenger II as a contemporary tank that is far better defended, more dependable, and speedier than Soviet-era Russian tanks. The 62.5-ton diesel-powered tank has been in service with the British Army since 1994 and has been deployed in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo and Iraq.